ladies and dickheads. Deja vu, anybody? I'm with Franny again, and uh, we're going all the way back to Tokyo Kitchen. But this time they're open because we made sure. <laughs> so I guess that Super Bowl Sunday we went, um, it was just a freak day that they didn't want to open early, like a couple of fucking pansy ass coochies. And uh, today we uh, DM them on Insta Twat and they confirmed they're open. So uh, we're heading all the way back out to Montclair. I'm gonna go there, get some filet mignon and scallops, fried rye. All that good shit. Hey look, a Honda Del Slow. Man, so I recently bought a crock pot. I'm like late in the crock pot game. And uh, I've been having Franny make some dank shit in it. And uh, I recently found a, a cause I love chili, but you know, good chili is kind of hard to come by unless you like know what you're doing or you make it at home. I found this recipe, it had like a million fucking views on it on YouTube, and it is the best chili I've had in my entire life, and we got that shit being made right now, so I'm be eating some cock pot chili tonight. We made an addition though, we're going to put 10, we put like, or no, it was like 7 habaneros in it, make that shit a little bit spicy, it's a nice truck. A lot of bikes out today because it's Sunday. There's a lot of weekend riders I notice. Like during the week, it's like I rarely, you know, being in California, you know, you'd think you'd be seeing motorcycles galore, but I feel like it's kind of a, a rarity anymore. Not anymore, but just in general. And here's a dickhead going slower than the fucking traffic around him in the carpool lane. That's a big no no. Oh my god, imagine that porta potty being full of shit and it fucking flying off the truck and just splattering your ass. Oh, that'd be so fucking gross. Literally covered in shit and peanuts. Man. We're always driving to Montclair, but now that I, you know, I got rear sets on the ZX-10 and taking the bike, man, it's so much faster to get here on a fucking bike. Now I have to sit behind all the slow dickheads in traffic. The usual beautiful mountains around us. I always love mountains, man. I'm a mountain snob. I think my hood, <laughs> this motorcycle jacket that I'm wearing has a hood on it, and I think, I think it's literally slapping the shit out of Franny right now. Oh no, come on, man. Why the traffic? Why? No, oh, there's got, there's never traffic right here. There's gotta be an accident up there. Somebody probably fucking jerking and driving. Blew a load on their steering column and got their shit stuck and they crashed. On a commute like this, let's, let's say like a 20 minute commute, how many dickheads do you think are jerking off while driving? You know that somebody's doing it. Just like by the law of numbers, somebody out here is jerking their chicken while they're driving. Probably the guy on this BMW right here. Get your dick out of your hand. Hey Tesla, turn off autopilot and get your dick out of your hand. Look at this guy, he's like, go ahead and get over cunt. Thank you, thank you. A Mercedes SUV. Like I said, I think I think these nice cars that do it, they're just like, they don't even want to remotely have an instance of me like clipping their mirror or something. They're just like, whoop, just get right the fuck over. Damn, like every car now has like that little light in the mirror that tells you there's a dickhead coming up on you. It must be like a standard thing in cars now. Oh, I guess they're isn't a accident. Damn, we're already on Millicent Avenue. We already made it to Ontario that fast. Thank you. Thank you, Sienna. Thank you. I don't get why people put big Instagram tags on their car. 
Like it'll be some basic car that's just some run-of-the-mill shit and they'll like have a big old Instagram bomb on their back window. Ooh, that's a nice truck right there too, getting towed. I really hope that little cloud of bees ain't like holding any grudges and being back and they're gonna be back tenfold and slam into me. Dude, that was so random. If you guys watched that last video where I went through those fucking bees, dude. Like, I've rode through bees and, you know, had bugs hit my shit and whatnot, but, like, just, like, 20 of them hitting my body at once. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Even when I'm riding by the bee boxes out, like, by the, um, when I'm, like, when I'm on the Grom and I'm in those little beekeeper areas where they're all there. And there's just hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of them, just swarming around. Hey, what's up with all the slowing on the freeway? Probably Grandpa Jenkins up there going fucking 10 miles an hour in the carpool lane, causing that little chain reaction stop. Law enforcement. We got the good old Ranger there. They have pretty cool looking vehicles. Hey, damn, thank you, Chevy. I appreciate that. Hey, there's our exit coming up in two miles. Man, we got here quick. Even with the slowing down. Okay, buddy, thank you. Oh, baseline four and a quarter. I never see the a quarter. <laughs> dicks. Every time I see a dick sign, I giggle a little. Well, you can name your shit anything, and he's like, let's call it dicks. I didn't make a Mount Baldy trip one day. I've never been to Mount Baldy. It's off this exit right here. Every time I pass the sign for it, I always think like, man, that'd be kind of cool to go to. Ready for some bomb ass food? Yeah. Oh my God. All right, we're on fucking, we need B radar on. That shit came out of nowhere too. I didn't even like see it coming. All those dickheads washing their cars and fucking, and then like in three days, it's about to literally rain for like four days straight. Okay, now there's cars and shit here, so to tell these motherfuckers open down. Okay. Yeah, they look open now. <laughs> You excited? Yeah. This is your favorite place in the world? Are you are you excited for me to queef in your face on the way home again? You look excited for that. No? Okay. I'll make sure I lift my ass up off the seat when I do it too. <laughs> my back was showing. So that means my underwear was showing. Yeah? Yeah. Flashing? I would literally pink underwear awful this way. Alright, let's go eat so I can give you my synopsis. Okay. Alright.
but I'm fucking starving. So babe, how was your, uh, what's your synopsis of the food? That was the most satisfying meal that I've had in my very, very long time. Did that chili paste make it? Yeah. That chili? That chili paste is what separates them from everybody else that's like this place. Yep, every other hibachi, that chili paste. And they're like, just their mushroom tip soup's way better. Yeah. Their salad's amazing. Way better. The stressing on the salad is way better. And I got my filet mignon still mooing, so... <laughs> It was the way you should eat it, nice and soft. I felt like I had flaccid penis in my mouth. So, uh, all those food shots you saw were courtesy of Franny here. And because I didn't want to sit there looking like a dumbass recording my food. But, um, hey, thanks to her, you guys got to see pretty much what it's like in there and how that shit works. And, Sometimes you get a guy that has some extra funny things going on. Sometimes it's the basic. I, I pretty much that basic is, uh... Man. man, fuck you then. Queefing? Oh, no, I'm not queefing. I don't think I can. I'd shit. She was asked if I'm queefing. I don't know. I'm, I'm incapable of queefing at this moment in time. Damn the old KLR, brother. Ooh, that Mustang's nice. Ooh. Man, every time the light's about to turn green and she's not holding on, I just I just expect her to like just fucking backflip off the bike when I take off. Man, I don't know how, but this bike even just sounds better for some reason. Oh cool, the same word again on ramps right here. Oh, there's a hog waving at me. Hey! to think that my bike before was uh it had a it had a longer gearing like they put like well you add, adding a tooth or whatever the fuck it is i think i had that because i feel like i'm higher up in the rev range now when i'm in the night like right here at 92 i'd be at like from what i remember like four rpm now i'm at like six and a half. Oh, we got a hoss on a hog in front of us Damn, we're like cruising 105. 105 mushroom tips per hour. I'm so glad that place was open today. I felt bad for any who was so bummed out when we last came here and they were closed. Like the Korean barbecue literally hit the G spot. It did its job, but you know, you can't really replace some Tokyo kitchen action. There's a lot of fucking dickheads out today for being a Sunday. Man, that dude had a fucking Georgia plate. Fuck that drive. Literally across the entire fucking country. I wonder what dickheads like that think when they see motorcycles and lane splitting on the freeway. Because they definitely ain't doing that in Georgia. I'll probably pass them and they go, oh, great heavens. Damn, it is 70 degrees out right now. It is so picture perfect. Like, this feels like perfection weather right here. Like, it couldn't get any better. I literally am looking at two bug dicks right in front of my left eyeball. Like all this visor they can land on is directly in front of my eyeball. Just some fucking swinging Richards from a couple of dumbass flies. Yeah. Oh, we got old Haas on the hog here again. That's a funny term I just found out about. Like when chicks wipe their cooters after they piss and shit, and they leave a little bit of fucking toilet paper behind. That that shit's called clitty litter. That's like such a perfect term for that clitty litter. Fucking clitty litter. 
so if some chick's got some clitty litter, I think it's also pronounced. I think Franny's getting dome checked by my hood again. Look, you can see it on the shadow. Well, ladies and dickheads, gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. Wanted to take you along to our little uh, Tokyo kitchen action, let you guys see uh, some hibachi if you've never been to it or seen what that is or even knew what it was. But uh, it's pretty much probably my top tier favorite shit to go do, go do and eat. And uh, yeah. As always, thank you guys for watching. All links will be down below. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, get on my shirt, stickers, uh, come follow me on Twitch, have a brew, a cheat, whatever it may be. And, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button. And you guys have a, a real good day. See you guys later.